What is going on everybody? Good morning, it's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be talking about two ETFs that I'm looking to trade today on the 20th of March in 2019. And I wanted to let you guys know for anybody out there that doesn't know already, today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there is a Federal Reserve meeting where the focus of this meeting is going to be the interest rate situation. Are they going to hike the interest rates? Are they going to cut the interest rates? Or are they going to keep the interest rates the same? So we all know from a couple of months ago that the Fed said in 2019 he's going to be very lax with the interest rate hikes because we saw a couple of hikes last year, which is why you know the stock market didn't do too well. And for those of you guys that don't know, whenever the interest rate continues to go up, this kind of, you know, shies away, it, it shies people away from borrowing money and thus the economy isn't stimulated, right? When people want to borrow money, they like borrowing with lower interest rates, right? Which is why a couple of years ago when the interest rate was zero and it was a very small interest rate, that's when the economy was seeing crazy growth. The stock market was rising because when the Interest rates are zero, very, very minimal, right? This stimulates the economy. People are more eager or they're more willing rather to go out, take that loan, take this loan, this loan, and borrow more money to stimulate the economy, right? Because the interest rates are lower. But again, you know, as interest rates continue to push up, they continue to push up. This weighs down on the economy. This weighs down on the stock market. And thus, people aren't willing or they're less willing rather to borrow money. So like I said, guys, we are expected to see a less less hikes this year of 2019, which is why I personally think that we're not going to see any hikes. We're not going to see any cuts today. But who knows, guys, I might be wrong. Let's see what ends up happening today, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let's say hypothetically we do get a rate hike. That is going to be pretty, pretty crazy in terms of the stock market. We could end up selling off. We could end up selling off very heavily. We just have to see and, uh, you know, wait and see what happens today at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think is going to happen? Are we going to cut? Are we going to see a rate increase? Or are we just going to stay the same where we are right now? So now that we talked about that, let's quickly go into two ETFs that I'm watching this morning in the stock market. And actually, we didn't even talk about the futures. Let's talk about that first. We can see the S&P U.S. stock future is very flat right now. It's literally flat. Zero point increase, zero point percent increase. The Nasdaq is up about $3.25, up about 0.04% right now in the Dow Jones is up about $8, 0.03%. So it's looking like we are very flat right now in the in the uh in the, the grand spectrum here of the three major indices that we talk about on this channel. And now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about two ETFs that I'm watching here. So for all you guys that watched my video yesterday, the afternoon video and the morning video, we were talking about crude oil and UWT. UWT is an inverse ETF. It's a leveraged ETF that trades based upon crude oil. Whenever UWT is going up in price, crude oil is going up up in price and obviously when crude oil is going up in price uwt is going up in price right so we were talking about in yesterday's video how crude oil was very over extended right it was already at about 59 dollars and 85 cents it was hovering in the middle of this new channel that we're trading in between 57.75 and around 61 dollars right this was the old resistance we broke above it making it a new support with the intentions of trading up to the next resistance at about $61. And again, in yesterday's video, we were hovering in the middle of this horizontal channel here. So now, 
We're finally getting that give, that little pullback that I was waiting for in yesterday's video, which is opening up a huge opportunity right now in UWT. So let's see what ends up happening here if we do end up popping up. So let's say we end up holding the 58.50 level, the 58.80 level where we are right now, and we slowly start to push up. That's going to open up a ton of margin of profit on UWT. And UWT is already in the 16 levels right now. The RSI is dipping down a bit and we're already looking like we're maintaining that 1675 1680-ish support from a couple of days ago. Can this fall even lower? Yeah, excuse me. It definitely could fall lower if crude oil continues to fall down which honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised. And that will only open us, you know, a more margin of profit on the ETF. But in that case, if we continue to fall down, guys, we need to see a clear cut reversal on crude oil to the upside before trading, you know, the UWT ETF. And how am I going to see a clear cut reversal? Well, let's hop here to the five day, five minute, and we'll see exactly actually the one day, one minute probably paints it easier, right? We can see this is what I want to see for a clear clear-cut reversal, what we're seeing right now. We notice how over the past couple of hours throughout the entire night, we saw that big pullback with the 50 SMA and the 180 SMA acting as resistances. Now, we got that double bottom, which is a reversal pattern to the upside. We could expect more bullish action in a stock ETF that sees a double bottom. And now, we're breaking out of the resistance that we were trading below the entire night, right? This is a sign that we're reversing to the upside. So the fact that we're seeing this on the one day, one minute, you know, this is a good sign that we want to start to push back up in crude oil, giving us a lot of opportunity in UWT. So if I were you and what I'm personally doing, again, don't trade this, uh, you know, based on my opinion, but I would just keep an eye on this level here. Are we going to end up breaking out of this level, which is a resistance from a couple of uh, hours ago, I believe. Yeah, from about 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard, about an hour and a half before I'm recording this video. Are we going to start to head back into the $59 level? That's what I'm going to be waiting for in terms of uh, crude oil. And I could be completely wrong, guys. Let's say we end up busting down below here. That could be a sign to trade DWT, which is the inverse to UWT, which could very possibly be a trade today if we do end up breaking this 50 SMA support and end up breaking the 57.75 to 58 dollar support level here. You know, anything can end up happening, but I'm thinking we're going to end up pushing up here today, which UWT would be the great move. But if we don't, DWT would be the move, which is the beauty of inverse ETFs, right? So the second one I want to talk about today is natural gas and natural gas now is in a very funky spot right we notice how and we talked about this in the previous couple of videos we notice how yesterday we topped off at the resistance at about 290 which has been a resistance over the past couple of trading weeks right we can notice it here we topped off back on the 5th of march we topped off here at the 8th on the 8th of march we headed down and now we just topped there about Yesterday at about 290, and now we're heading back down, um, you know, in terms of natural gas. So I guess you can say now with 100% certainty that the resistance, the rejection is confirmed, right? And we ended up breaking below this level at about 285 that I was watching for to see if it was going to hold above, which is another sign that we're heading down in price in terms of natural gas. And let me show you guys why. We can see this was a resistance a couple of weeks ago. It was a resistance a couple of days ago. And the fact that we broke out of that resistance, we broke to the bottom of it. Well, actually, no, let me rephrase that. This was a resistance, right? And the fact that we did, failed to hold it as a new support, we broke below it. It's making it a new resistance again, if that makes any sense, guys. So we can see. Honestly, the next target I have on natural gas now is going to be at around $3.78 roughly. And if we break that, it's going to be at around $3.75. So at this point, you know, we did end up breaking critical, critical support levels and we could be headed back down to the 370s in terms of natural gas, opening up a lot of margin on D gas, right? And D gas is probably up pre market. Yep, it is up pre market up into the 90s. And we talked about this one that it offers about 7% margin in yesterday's video and the fact that natural gas is selling off right now I think D gas is going to be a very good play and I could be wrong guys let's say 
Natural gas ends up pumping up back over that 285. Now resistance, right? Because we broke below it as a support. It's now a new resistance again. This could be a play for you guys if natural gas ends up filling back up to 290. So this is the beauty of ETFs, right? You can follow the future and really decipher what you want to trade based on the pattern that you're seeing on the future. So that's it for this morning's video, guys. Very quick, simple. Just keep an eye on the Fed meeting. That's the most important thing in today's video, honestly. And just keep an eye on these two ETF combos. They're going to be very good plays today, in my personal opinion. Again, do your own research. Don't trade these based on my opinion, guys, because you want to become a self-sufficient trader here in the stock market so you can do this stuff on your own. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about all of this different stuff. Subscribe to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell. If you want to be notified every time that I do make a video, I'll catch you all in the video later today. Hopefully the Fed meeting goes well. We'll talk about it later today, and I'm sure we'll talk about it in the Discord group chat, which is again, linked down below 100% free. I'll see you all later on. Thanks for watching.